That's as fast as I've ever been on a go-kart. It's as good as the day we built it. Today on Cars and Cameras, we're shooting the most epic head-to-head -head episode imaginable. We have our 80 horsepower Ducati cart and our 125 horsepower snowmobile two-stroke cart. And we are out here at the Washington Warren Field Airport. So we have a whole 5,000 foot runway to use to our disposal to see which one is faster. So we've made some changes to the jetting on this cart. We're gonna do some warm-ups. It's been a while since the Ducati has been out. We're gonna do some warm-ups on that. And then we're gonna do best two out of three from a dig race. We also are gonna see what a roll race is gonna do as well. And then the winner of those races goes up against our special guest, my dad in his Audi R8 supercar. You're going down! <laughs> You're going down! So we have a lot of safety equipment to get on and uh, some warming up to do. Let's get right into it. We have to give a huge thank you to Washington Warren Airport for letting us test our builds on this runway. Earl, Josh, and the other staff are a group of hot rod appreciating individuals who run an incredible facility. So we've measured out 660 feet, which is one eighth of a mile. We have more to go, so we can stretch it farther if we want, but we know that our go-karts are already gonna be going about 100 miles an hour at the eighth mile, uh, which is fast enough, it's pretty scary. Uh, so the 670 cart, we leaned out the carburetors just a little bit, uh, so it should run better, should get out of the hole a little quicker. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna set up some cones, maybe do a couple test passes, and then do our uh, best two out of three race. All right. So this is not a drag strip. I don't know how this cart's gonna handle on this asphalt. So I am gonna make a pass on my own uh, just to see how this cart handles. Because the Ducati just wants to spin. It, it, it wants to spin and go. <laughs> so we have a speedometer app. Ike is gonna test his top speed or at least in the eighth mile his speed. We have 5,000 feet of runway. So we have more stopping room than we have going room, which is awesome for safety purposes. Holy moly! That's a very fast go -kart. He's already at the end of the runway. Yeah. He's, a He's already done 5,000 feet. Did you beat your own speed record? Your own speed record. <laughs> He's got that look on his face. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, what? what is it? 107. <laughs> oh, <hi>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like we need Have to address. Have you ever been 107 miles oh, an hour on a go-kart? No. I feel like we need to address the fact that you're wearing shorts. What's that about? The These shorts. They're aircraft. They're, they're aircraft grade. They're, they're, uh, what is it? Never they're try this at home. <laughs> You are gone. I don't, I don't, it does spin. I don't have anything for you with the 670. It does spin. You might. You might. All right. 
That was, huh? that was probably cruising up oh, no, to it. You probably didn't even. Up to it. Like, yeah. I started off in second here. Oh boy. Or it might have been third. Was it doing that? It did. It did run out eventually. Well, let's see the speed Charles ran. It sounds like he ran out of fuel. Did 93. That's pretty good, 93. man. 93.9. That's as fast as I've ever been on a go kart. Congrats, dude. <laughs> 93. Well, let's get them lined up. Yeah. I mean, the Ducati's got, got a higher top end, but we're not racing to the no, end of the right. runway. Yeah. So let's get them lined up and do it. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to try this from a roll because the 670 is still having a bogging problem. So we're gonna try this from like a 20 mile an hour roll and see what happens. Oh my god. Well, we need to do a rolling start, I think, because right, that thing I is bogging so I'm bad. Sure I'm gonna need some gas. Need some gas? Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna need some gas. Okay. Dude, even from a roll. Really? Dude, like third gear I got on it, and it broke. There's gonna be black marks down there, too. Really? From a roll. I'm gonna tell him to cut it off. This thing is super duper fast. It's as good as the day we built it. In fact, I'm gonna say it's even better. Uh, unfortunately, the 670's having some uh, tuning issues. It's bogging off the line, uh, which is most likely it is tuned for winter. And all we did was take that engine straight off the uh, snowmobile and put it on this cart. So we got some tuning we gotta do. So, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a rolling start. So I think me and Charles are gonna do like a 15, 20 mile per hour roll from back there 
and when we hit the cones right here that's when we're going to mash it I think Charles might have got him. I don't know. Oh, oh he got you. Right. Yeah. I got a chance. Nice, you got a chance. That was a baby gift. You got him. That was a baby gift. That was a baby gift, wasn't it? One more time. One more. All right. Mm -hmm. are so close so on the first race it looks like Charles won on the 670 second race Ike won on the Ducati congrats man I think you got the W on that one yeah yeah these are they're very close aren't they they're very close it, it all depends on the start like like if you're a little late coming off that cone from a roll he's got me Yep. But and if I was and I was a little bit late off the line on that one. Were you? But that's not. So they're I, I, they're tit for tat, I think. That would have been that would if I would have timed it perfect, I think we would have had a neck and neck. Yeah. Oh, oh look. That was pretty cool. That was awesome. That's a good day at work, guys. That's, yeah. I love it. <laughs> We were just on that run runway. <laughs> <laughs> on him at the top end really I'm, I'm like he's got me at like a couple mile an hour the whole way i can feel him That's... leaving and then right when it's it's gluing me in the seat i'm getting closer to him oh that's pretty but cool. I run, but I run out of fuel. They're they're tit for tat. Like, These things are bad. If we get the uh, fuel, <laughs> if we get the fuel issue fixed on that, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got me. You know when we just did the second roll race, yeah, we both floored it. You take off and I'm just kind of ramped in. So yeah, this thing's like instant torque. Yep. Like, did you notice that this thing's skating from yeah. a roll? 
That's like, cool. Now, my, mine will skate at probably 40 or 50 miles an hour. And yeah. that's when the scary. power band kicks when in, When the power dude. band kicks Woo. in. All right, Ike, you won the two out of three, man. Yeah, hey. You're, You're going up nice, against dude. the uh, the R8. Not a problem. <laughs> I think this is the part where a couple of good old boys that built this in a shed uh, make a supercar owner mad. Not gonna get your feelings hurt, are you? I'll be all right. We'll be okay. You know, <laughs> like I say, it's eighth of a mile. Yeah. If I can do 130 at the end of the runway, we know who's got the faster car. One more time yeah that was a little embarrassing it's okay it's okay this has airbags <laughs> oh boy now i get to listen to ike say <laughs> that for, for five years Yeah, that's it. So you got it. Right. <laughs> All right, man. But you got to finish the payments. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best day at work we've had in a long time. We have to give a huge shout out to the Washington Warren Airport. Check them out on Facebook at Washington Warren Airport. Uh, the crew here, Josh and the guys, they are super nice. They were extremely accommodating. And uh, the facilities here are top notch as well. I mean, uh, the facility was amazing. The surface is freshly paved. It was incredible. So uh, be sure to check them out on Facebook. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode and let us know in the comments what you want to see next between these two Titan go-karts. We will catch you next time. <laughs> Wait, the front end? Yeah. What? <laughs> Maybe the camera caught that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, but it lifted up pretty high on that one. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I did a Toretto. Yeah. Oh, you, were, you, you were taking off. Did a freak, yeah. I, I, would, I had already taken off, and as I was going, when the power kicked in, it lifted up the front end. Yeah, you were, and about, then, you were about to fly all the way to Bumper. <laughs> That's why you beat me. You only had two wheels on the ground. <laughs> Less rolling resistance. Yeah, there we go. Woo, that was the first time it's ever lifted that high. That's cool.